Hi, my name is Xyzis and uh, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, La Resistance, where we're playing as the German Reich. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, be able to sort all this up. Got quite a lot to do with the aircraft there. And uh, let's set let the timer run here. And uh, Leo's note was the, right the 12th of June now. And uh, in our timeline, Germany invaded the Soviet Union on the 22nd of June. We're gonna be a little bit late for that, of course. But I feel that this is the, the closest way we could get, and still, you know, I had enough time to finish up everything down there. So we continue down here on the trade interdiction. And I think, especially, this one is really good. Um, no, they're all really good down here. And uh, no naval experience, of course. We just continue down that path. On pause again. And we'll see. Okay, so they're, <coughs> they've arrived here. I want to let these guys catch some organization. We'll make sure that these are on invasion support down here. Don't know if we've got enough. We've actually got some other things I thought of uh, that we need to do. Up here we've got uh, mine layers going on about putting down the mines and we've reached a thousand which is the cap. So um question is if we want to move them down and start putting... Uh, let's put some mines down here instead. We'll just stop that there. These guys are patrolling there for the moment. Let's put them down there instead. They kind of act like a, a defense force for these, if you will. Uh, let's just call this the North Sea, so we know what it is. There we go. Makes it look a little bit tidier. And what more do we have? Oh yeah, well, time's running away quite quickly here. And war is coming, and quite a lot of our divisions have received new equipment. So that's just as a field marshal order, put them all on train until everything is reached there. And the same thing with our panzer divisions, of course. And question was if I wanted to split up. Yeah, I probably want to pull a few of these divisions out from here. Let's see if we can actually reach this little button there. And let's pop over into here and let's grab a few of these and we'll put those into the same army. Put them under the same commander and let's put Sep in charge here. He's uh, also Panzer Officer and uh, politically connected unfortunately. But that's the way it is. He's got a very good logistics score, it's a 4, and a good planning score, but the logistic one is uh, mostly what we're after. Got a planning speed there and attack and planning plus. So, nothing else we can select. And I think uh, we want to put Sep down here. Or if we put. No, we'll keep him down here and we'll have Sep take the level. Of you go there, and uh, he's also training because it's a field marshal order. So we'll cancel that when we start getting ready for it. Let's get some planning bonus up. We'll reduce down these front lines. We, yeah, we probably want to put push him from the south here. Over these uh, plains, we'll have to go through some marshes here, I think. We should have uh, routed them a bit. So the first goal is going to be to try and go through and take Minsk. And the same thing from... What kind of terrains do we have here? We have the terrain map mode. No. We go there. Doesn't really help us, does it? We've got some hills here. We've got some plains up here. And we could... Could probably go across... Well, there's a river there. And we're not going to have our marines uh, ready for that. 
I'm thinking if we push from the north and down towards Minsk through here, Motodenko. Motodesna, probably. Um, we've created a little bit of a bigger pocket, but it might be worth it anyway. Since this is a lot better tank country. And this should be pushed up in a matter of days. And then it's just two provinces down and we're basically connected here. Um, I think the swamps are easier to attack through than the forests. Attack 80%. No, forests are going to be easier. So we're going to take the same route here. We're going to just go a little bit north. We'll make it a little bit smaller there. Um, let's just tidy that up so we get the arrow in a more pointed direction towards the way we're actually planning on doing that. Well, field marshal order doesn't really matter. So we got first and second. And the armored army. Alright, so these guys, you know, we want to wait a few more days there and we'll see what happens. And, and they're all victories, great. Alright, let's see what we could go with. Ah, let's activate that so we can see. Let's close that down so we don't have to look at it. Put on the radar overlay. That probably needs to be. Oh yeah, we're still building that up. And we're researching the new uh, new ones as well. So what more did we have to do? We're training all these divisions. Down here, we can probably close this pocket off. And uh, let's help out there. Go in there, let's use one of these actually called. And help out there. Let's see if we can't finish these guys off. And we can continue through there. And they still want us to recall them. Ah, United States. Okay, this was a different one. I thought it was the attaché in China. Are they in... Oh yeah, because... Oh. Oh, I see. We must have missed the... Uh, declaration of war there. Well, that means they should be getting a lot of... Uh, Naval experience, shouldn't it? Yeah, okay, so they're war with the United States, but we're not yet, I think. No. Well, let's, uh, no, let's uh, get the miners out of there. For now. Yeah, so they must have uh, gotten a different war. Oh, they've joined the Japanese-Chinese war. Have they intervened on China's side then? No idea. Well, nah, we'll send them where we please. As we've done up until now. Low manpower, now we've got a million left. Oh, it must be convoy battles. Anything we want to look at there? 38 in the Cove of Gunny, uh, Guinea. That down here. Well, it's like a heavy cruiser, that's nice. Yeah, don't know. What have we got there? There are some convoys. Alright, so what's going on here with the ciphers? We don't really need to start those. Okay, we're still going again on. Well, so they've upgraded their encryptions. Well, maybe we should too. 
I don't know if there is any point in doing any more of these. Should have a little bit more defense. Doesn't cost that much either. Okay, let's turn these radars off before we get sick of them. And let's go back into the operations. Alright, so we completed the army of filtration. Some experience. Well, we could capture the Soviet cipher. Could start infiltrating them. Could do a collaboration government. But that uh, now we're gonna go with. Uh, I think when we're invading, we're probably gonna go with uh, brutal pressure for the uh, resistance target to get it down. And we're not gonna have any compliance at all, so we can build compliance after the war is done. And uh, that should be fine. That's the uh, the fascist one. That's uh, bound to the ideology. We we'll probably want to get something going here. And that means we've got two more. Oh yeah. So let's. Uh, where do we want to be? Let's put one down there. And why not build a network down here? That might be helpful. We'll see what more we could do. Would be fun to plan out one of these. That just takes five days actually. But we need 70% for 56. We might actually wait for that and see how it is. Alright, so we. Anyway, we need to move over some of ours. Okay, so they're helping out down there. Don't need them there anymore, we put them up here instead. We need to start moving bombers, loads of bombers up. Okay, so. Reports, these have ace pilots. They have more experience there. Let's turn these off and move them up. Where do we have the other bombers? But we started moving our bombers up here. It doesn't really matter, we can keep them here. These guys are... They're on an exercise. Hmm. It looks like the Polish flag there. Is it Polish manpower maybe? Could be. No idea. Now we shouldn't have any... Uh, anyone in government any government in exile say. And I'm thinking this way, we'll split this uh, this wing into two. And we'll put one in there. And down here, let's close their support. These guys. Let's move them up. We should have them up here somewhere. Well, let's move you guys up there. These guys. Move them up there. Actually, let's hold them. Move them up. Same thing here. Hold. Move up. These guys there. Well, they're kind of their reserves. And we don't need to have these guys up there anymore. Hold them. Move them up. And we've got some fighters down here that we don't need to keep down here anymore. Oh, we got more use of them up here. Let's put them up there. Let's hold them and then put them up there. Do we have anyone? Oh, the Italians got that covered. Alright. So those have good range from there. Let's split that up. Move a few of them over there. Daytime. Daytime for both of those. Let's move these down to well, one, two, Greece, put them into the Tyrrhenian. Or 
Oh, that's the Aegean. Actually, we probably get better coverage from there. These guys can fly from there. They're moving up. And they're probably want to have them there. We won't have these many here. But we don't need to have that many there. Let's take those. And where do we want to keep these? Well, move them up a bit to here, then somewhere. Let's pew there, I've got a few here. I'll probably fly them out of there. We're out of here. we got a pretty decent range, right? Yeah, should be fine from Czechoslovakia. No, we've already got 25 in there and 25 there. Let's put them down here and put them over the Black Sea then, just so we can see if anything's happening down there. And this group will probably have that as well. And that means we can fly half of them to there. And we'll free these guys up into common duties up here. And we don't need this kind of presence up here either. So here we've got these naval bombers. And the same thing here. Let's bring that down. We don't need as many here. And actually we can probably just disband that air wing. We seem to have enough scouts. We can maybe bolster these ones a little bit. Let's split this one up, put a few of them there, a few of them there. This guy here, split. Bring these guys down to bomber staging down here. Let's get these guys moving about. Maybe we know there's no point putting anyone up there. Alright, so what more do we have to do? Now we probably want to add some more divisions. Armored. And some more motorized. Where do we have you? There we go. And we're running out of motorized there. Alright, so we won't do that. We're, we're just running out of support equipment there, so that's fine. We do need to do some reorganizing here, I think. Since we, we've produced enough anti-tank guns, we need to start moving a few of these over. We're going to need some more on anti-air. We're just producing upgraded artillery, we've got enough of them. Support equipment, light tanks, we probably need another one on light tanks. Okay, so support and armored cars. Yeah, let's put another one into armored cars then. That's uh, six factories. We bring them up there, that should fill it up down to the light tanks, perfect. Can we start converting these instead? Yeah, go ahead then. Could probably steal these two factories as well. And put one into tanks. Motorized could be good to get another one out. Mm. Yeah, let's do it that way and let's put another two in queue there and let's pull those off and those 20 factories there should be fine and we're soon finishing these two that can be 10 more dockyards three of 
Let's put some more light cruisers in here. Could probably wait until we get the new radars actually. And then we'll put them in. Alright, so we need more bombers. We can put another hundred of these guys in. Another hundred of these guys in. Close air support. Yeah, we've got loads of close air support. Fighters. We've probably got enough fighters. Let's see. Let's get them all moving up here. We should start arriving here soon enough. Okay, so they're... Yeah, they're coming out. Okay, so one of them is still trying to fly down there, or... Can't we see which guy this is? No, they're just a sign down there. Well, let's have them all in the same airport and have them hold. Okay, so we've got 400 of them. Should have more of them on the way, right? Yeah. And this one is soon done. And they're moving up. They're moving up. We should be 25 in each of these zones here now. Perfect. Same thing. Well, we've got a little bit more there. And a little bit more there. Okay, so all the bombers are starting to pop up here now. Let's get them all into the same airports. These guys. Oh, we kind of need. What do we have in air forces down here? We've got 300 close air support, no fighters to go into Ukraine. So we need some fighters down here. We've got 4, 200, 400, 200, and 300. No, that's close air support again. Okay, let's move those up there. These guys are the ones assigned there, perfect. And we've got another 200 there. Well, that's good. And we've got 200 here. We might want to put in another 400 here then. Or 200 more. Now let's pop those in. And let's pop those in. Let's pop those down on low reinforcement priority. We're not going to get them up to any kind of training here. We've got four fighter wings there. Let's turn the missions off for now. Pop those in there. And they're just flying their missions, yeah. So let's pop the mission off for now. Get them assigned. These guys are moving there. Then assigned, so we've got 500 close air support in there. 400 up there, no mission. Daytime only, of course. These guys move up there. Now we can stop training them. And they get assigned to there. No, turn the missions off. We want them assigned to there. Do we have any more unassigned ones? Nope. And now we are just running out of fighter wings for down there then. Okay, so that's... Oh, these were fighters. Alright, so we need 200 more close air support based out of here as well. The same deal here. Put them on low priority, daytime only. And sign them into there. These guys should not have a mission assigned just yet. But we need them assigned to daytime only. It can be day and night. Alright, so now we've got 700 fighters here. 200, 400. We need to move 300 of them down southwards. Let's bring a few of these down. Pop them there. See what happens. Let's let them move. Perfect. 
are these guys assigned to Ukraine? Could use these guys as well actually in the offense. And so what we're doing now is kind of playing whack-a-mole with the with the allies. Well, that's fine as well. We do need to keep their bomber count down. I've got this graph here. I would preferably want to shoot down more bombers than they produce. Just as we're doing with the convoys. Okay, it looks like they've really tried to ramp up their convoy production as well. Everyone's coming up this way. Alright, don't seem to have any bigger fleets going there. Where's our patrol fleet then? It should be visible when we're here. No? Okay, let's uh, close that down. Here we go. Okay, so we're trying to locate them now. Perfect. Let's see what happens there. Alright, so we managed to amass a thousand bombers. Or 900. Well, nearly. There we go, let's pop one over from there. So these guys have short range. Let's move them. We can keep them down here probably. We've got... There's 300 of them, yeah we can fit them in here. Close air support. I'm gonna be over Ukraine, we don't need to have your mission assigned just yet. Of course we want to have... Uh, day and night. Let's get that one up to 50. Same thing here. Actually we probably can bring them all up to 100. Might as well. So we see what's happening down there. Oh yeah, they're just flying down into the Black Sea so we can see if there's any ships moving around there. Okay, so we're gonna get those bombers down there with their reserves. Then we want probably these two we can merge. And then we've got 300 of them. Let's make it this way. These guys are on high priority, since they've got the aces. These guys come back to medium. Oh wait, they're set to elite air wings. Oh yeah, because we've got these that are no, but they're specialized. Uh, probably need to go in and just reorganize these. We'll put them on allowed to use any kind. And these are only allowed to use the newest ones. Want to have these on daytime bombing. These are gonna go strat bombing, ports, air bases, radars. And I think that's it. There. Not gonna have the mission activated just yet. These guys. Do the same thing. Don't need to attack coastal ports. Yeah, we probably should have anti air activated for these guys too. Yeah, no ground support though. Put those guys into eastern Poland. These three guys are moving down there. It was assigned them to the Ukraine. And no coastal ports, uh, the rest is fine. So we're trying to bomb out their air bases, of course. Uh, we don't need to be doing any naval strikes right now. And no one we can assign here, no. Alright, so that's fine. We should have the air force sorted out. Uh, it would be nice if this one was 400 so we can keep all our close air support up in the same area. 
But that's not the way it is. Okay, convoys. No. Wish we could just get the pop-ups where we either sunk or or lost ships that actually matter. So these guys. Let's see if we can't get them moving. Looks like we're missing quite a bit of supremacy below. These guys should have enough. One would think. The enemy dog doesn't even have ships around here. Put them on patrol then. Friendly supremacy, 229. Alright. Well, as soon as they're on site, should be better. Oh, I see that. Launch if they launch. Okay, unfulfilled import requests from. Tungsten, it looks. No, oil. Who are they selling their oil to? Japan. And all these other guys. Okay, so we're missing one. Well, that's fine for now. We're trading for too much tungsten. Let's bump our trade with Sweden down just a little bit. As these are actually uh, in the lines for being sunk or harassed. Another destroyer, get you in there. Yeah, okay, we can uh, get rid of that. That one's okay, let's get rid of that and that. Lots of resistance, we know. Okay, these guys, oh, but they've got a. Oh, they've got no mission aside, yeah. No, we know that. That's uh, intentional for the moment. And they've got full coverage, no problem whatsoever. There we go, yeah, we've got a 400 more fighters we could assign down out. Could put 200 of them here, 200 of them here. Wouldn't hurt, on interception or something. Do we have enough airbase space? Yeah, we do. So let's do it that way. I only allowed this type of fighter. Interception, put you up there. And do the same thing here. And get these guys out there on interception, day and night of course. Unless so we can intercept any of their bombers coming in. And uh, how are we doing for operations here? 61%. I wonder how many days it takes to get up to 70 there. Would be cool to try out this coordinated strike. And they don't really... 47%. Can we... If we move these guys over here temporarily, will that help? No. What are we up to then? 44. As soon as they leave here, it should launch. But I think the British are only here on... Uh... Oh, come on. I think they're only in the Mediterranean. Oh, they've got something here on... They're not even here. They're only here on convoy escort. I got no ships at all down here doing any missions. Might have them in port on uh, strike duty, of course. And we haven't taken this yet. Well, let's try again. Everyone attacks at the same time. Kind of want to do something with the Mr. Roman as well. And get him down to help fight down here. We're missing a few, quite a few light tanks. I think we they probably deserve their R and R for now. Okay, so something's moving about here. Oh, 
probably because we're splitting our forces out here as well, right? Right. If we split everything into here. Oh, you, your cruisers up. You should be reinforcing. Now you're out. Oh, wow. That was a good one. What do you got? Green water expert. I want to help you here in the Mediterranean. This is ocean. I guess that's the other way to do it. Okay. Ah, okay, they're coming in here to try and help us now, I think. Oh, because these guys can't get through here. Alright, so you guys just uh, dock up there for now. Uh, yeah, you're up in the... These guys are up here in the Baltic somewhere. Could probably keep them out here for... How are we doing with the mines here now? Are they doing it really fast, these new mine layers? We could get these guys on... I'm thinking if we create a small... There's no light cruises at all left. Well, let's do it that way then. How many is that? Nine? Should be. Split these guys off. And probably don't think we've got any more commanders left. You can go down there as well. And what more do we have here? No, they can stay there. They could actually go into there. And we're pausing those just for now. And okay, so these guys, we want you on patrolling the lower Baltic. The upper Baltic. Probably mostly the upper Baltic. That should be an okay fleet. No more commanders. What are we missing here? We've got everyone assigned. The next thing we want to do is start going about with those. Which is not that important. It's more important to get a new commander for here. And we, what we probably want to do is steal one of these other ones. We've got Marshall on these guys. And salt water here. So, Otto, you're in charge of the mine fleet. And let's get Alfred in charge of this new fleet here instead. These guys up here. I'm actually getting some convoys, so either it's oil imports or there's land lease going on. Probably oil imports. If we pop quickly in here, we can see. So they're importing oil, yeah. So that's perfect that we're raiding them. Could go into this sea zone as well. And that might be probably need to actually get these numbers up a bit first. Yeah, they're, not, they're not looking too hot. And we're still mass producing these. Looks like we're almost up to full numbers in the Atlantic, which is important. I've got one of these cruiser subs. Another one. Well, let's keep him there in reserve for now. Well, it's an Italian sub, isn't it? Oh well, yeah, because we opened up the Suez, they can actually get out here. They'll start suiciding their subs around here. Yeah, let's uh, unpause again. We're going to get that national focus very, very soon. Do we have anyone we can deploy? These guys might be worth to have deployed. These guys. Yeah, let's uh, let the uh, let the special forces finish. 
kind of does that too represent that we are, we can add two more units? Think. Oh yeah, never noticed that before. This little number here. So if we remove those there, we probably want to add both as many marines actually. Yeah, let's do that. That's fine. And how what are we doing for tank destroyers? How many do we have? We're up to 35. We probably want to get about 300 of them before we start switching them into templates. Alright, so we're launching here now. You're on invasion support instead then, if you can catch up with them. Alright, so what more do we want to do here? Naval bombers, not really. Heavy fighters, no. Rocketry would be very nice. Kinda wanna kick out the first rocket tech before though. Could go some for the Atlantic Wall. Since we haven't had time to do any of those, I'm not gonna do that yet. Nothing there, and there's could do this one. That's four more factories. Yeah, why not? Unless we want to go at six factories. Yeah, that's maybe the better one. Let's take the go down there. Let's double the time. But all right, so when these guys are done here, I think this workload does not have an expiry. Nope. Alright, so they caught up. They're gonna support that attack now. And you just need to get them moving. As soon as the divisions start moving, they'll continue the entire way for the invasion. Even if we don't have the superiority here anymore. Let's uh, go out of the naval invasion screen. And let's uh, see what happens there. Alright, so we wanna get these guys off training now and start building some and, uh, start building up the organization again most of them should be up into yeah, there's a few down here oh, that's not good do we have any one, more ones of those down here no there's just the ones there and they're in this army, all of them. Let's uh, keep these guys training just a little bit longer. Uh, we don't want them as uh, green troops on the Soviet border. And I think all of these are doing fine. Probably lost a few tanks in, in the training there, but it's fine. And let's check here, with 68% there too. Let's just uh, have a look down here at Gibraltar. Uh, should be attacking anytime soon. One hour. All oh, right. Um, I was kind of expecting that to uh, be a little bit more fun. All right. So um, yeah, that happened. <laughs> uh, these guys here, we don't need them. We want them around here somewhere. Well, we want to move, start moving the marines over, but we need to get something out there to garrison. And we need to, we probably want to have three divisions there. Let's put two divisions there. Might actually want to use these marines to hop down a bit down in the Persian Gulf, actually. We're we'll trying to get the uh, allies out of there. Yeah, let's do that. But we need to free up some troops. We're going to need to deploy. Two for Iraq, one for Gibraltar. Actually, yeah, let's take one for Gibraltar, that's fine. Three for Egypt. What do we have down here? Qatar. I think these are. If we go into the resource map mode, where do we have the resource map mode? There we go. Okay, so this one we don't need to guard. We do need to guard Abu Dhabi at 6 oil. 
we don't need to guard Aiden since there's nothing there of use there's two ports and there's another one down there and uh, Ceylon would be nice to take alright so we got something to do with our high sea fleet uh, this order down here let's see if we can see what we're doing let's uh, delete that one let's ship these guys over here for now and we've got these guys this is uh, Africa yeah let's get you guys down here as fast as possible one of you get over there actually let's put an order down for you and that should be fine that's a little bit fun but and these guys we're just gonna go down there and down here and we'll sort you out from there and this one's a good one to try and hold what happened to the one we did assign there? you should be assigned there actually you can probably go oh, that one help us go down to Genoa deactivate strategic redeployment and get over to Gibraltar okay so we I think we need to do some mixing up with the Navy here now as well if we're gonna move the high sea fleet out and I'm thinking we still want to keep these guys patrolling around here well they did need some time in port to repair anyway so let's leave them there for now we might need to get another one can probably actually rip the officer from Otto can go and command the North Sea Fleet and we can use uh, Marshall for the panzer ships we've got here in the South Atlantic or North Atlantic yeah let's do that alright so uh, Otto, you're needed here now, at the bottom, uh, yeah that's fine, these guys get them into another fleet, get Marshall in charge, it's probably not the best one for this job though, oh, let's see, no we don't want to have the smoke screen one, oh here we go, let's get that, uh, so we fire every three hours instead of every four hours and that was really good too but we'll take that one when we can get that one all right so we're done is we've got nothing more to give and no one else has got anything the raider is is in charge of some of these submarines down here somewhere all right so uh, then we can assign these guys patrolling where do we want them to patrol we want them out here probably better to keep them out there you guys on patrol then after you finish repairing good these guys yeah can take that off and get you guys down there for now to Kuwait and we get the marines around the other direction and have them, yeah they can keep training there they're doing well with the mines that should be fine they're kind of getting spread out there and yeah we're at 70% so I saw that this was a 5 day one I, I know they buffed this one in the latest patch yeah, of course the uh, Soviet one is going to get in ok so they're exactly the same yeah, let's take the British one then 
Commence when ready. Yeah, I think that's just mostly fluff. We will declare war, yeah. Okay, so uh, hopefully this means we go to war with the Soviet Union in uh, five days. Maybe we shouldn't be drilling. Okay, so they're all up. Perfect. And I mean they kind of spread out a little bit here and there on the front since I'm using field marshal orders. That should be fine. Let's assign missions to all of these aircraft. So they're on interception. Let's get all of these guys on air superiority. They go on close air support, all of them. Close air support, and they're up in the Baltic states. Perfect. Fighters. Oh yeah, we've got these guys here. We could probably split these out into two different ones. We should be on daytime. Just so we have them in sizes of 100 like the, all the other ones. And these are long range ones. Yeah, well, whatever. Let's go. Don't think we've got enough of the uh, wolves anyway. They should all be out fighting somewhere. A lot of them actually probably reinforcing our, our wings in here. These guys, no, not naval strikes, strategic bombing of course. And we've got everyone down here. Oh, we're 14 over the limit. Well, who would have known? You get out of there. Oh, close air support. Oh, they do one mission over land. Air superiority. We're not doing any interception down here. And you are not doing anything, but you guys are going to go strategic bomb. Perfect. Alright. These guys are back down here. And it's probably about time to... And it's actually... No, we don't have the... We want to move these down here? Yeah, why not? We'll move them in there. And they can be on... Well, they can be on interception. We need some someone on interception down there as well. And we've got our... Paratroopers, let's move them up here. I'm kind of hoping we can paratroop into Crimea, but we want to stabilize the front before we do that anyway, and they don't need any planning time. We get all our mountain divisions, plus that mountain division. They're still down here in Greece. We don't really have a lot of mountains anywhere, well, maybe here. And then there's uh, quite a few hills around Moscow which they could help take. Otherwise it's pretty flat land until you start getting down here. Or up into the east. Uh, up here mountaineers do fairly well too. They're, they've got quite a low supply, supply use since they're just infantry and then support companies. But uh, yeah, let's move these guys up. We're probably not going to advance anything right around here for the start. No, that's the wrong border. We want to have these guys on the Soviet border. Thank you very much. Right, let's just put them there. That's the best place to keep them anyway. Alright, everyone here is going to move around. And... Um, Actually, I think it's. Uh, I think we're actually going to end there, and we're going to declare the war next episode because uh, I've only got a minute left to record. And uh, I think once we start this thing, it's going to be quite a lot. We're all prepared. We're just waiting for this uh, this strike here to finish off and this mission. I wonder if we can see any intel on them while we're at it. 
Or you can see there is civilian intel. They got loads of factories. 27 building aircraft. How many aircraft do they have? 5,000. Wonder what we have. Probably have quite a lot too. Yeah, 4,000 fighters. 1,200 CAS. And these are what we have deployed in the field. No, not our reserves. Well, that's nice. We are still flying a lot of these old boats. I like these kind of things where you can look through them. And um, did we lose anything here? Current month, last month, one submarine. Killing a steady stream of. Yeah, we killed a lot of destroyers. Up here, 23 destroyers of the British. It must hurt. I still think they're, they're building quite many of them. But um, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, see you guys next time when we invade the Soviet Union once and for all. See ya!